This beauty's just arrived in the driveway. I bought it on uh, online from a private seller. Didn't pay much for it because nobody else actually bid it on it. Um, it's a single cylinder air-cooled diesel. The ex-owner seems to think it was 28 horsepower, but there's no identification on it that supports that. In fact, it doesn't even have a name apart from this interesting thing. The badge says Kawasaki KD90, but that was a motorbike in the 1970s. Googling the serial number gives us nothing not on the internet. Um, Googling Kawasaki KD90 just gives us small Japanese trail bikes. Cutting and pasting a photograph of this beastie into the search bar on Google and doing an image search only gives us other red agricultural looking things like tractors or lawn mowers or rotary hoes. So it's a pretty clever search engine but it's not giving us anything. Now did I just say that the old owner thought it was 28 horsepower? That means it takes a hellish effort to start it. Nobody here can get it going so far. Now it's driving a really cute tiny little homemade experiment. This is the motor out of a smart drive washing machine and they have used it to generate power. It's got two double plugs down here in a semi waterproof but obviously not spider proof box and rudimentary wiring from there but nice nice put into a nice little conduit so it's protected nobody's going to get electric shocks from it um, and a fan to give it a bit of cooling these things produce good volts when you spin them but they don't produce a lot of amps they're only 640 watts, which is 0.6 of a kilowatt. So it'll light a few light bulbs. You could probably watch TV with it, run a stereo, but it's not going to power your house. Although the motor is plenty powerful enough to power your house. I put this cup of coffee on top to give you some idea of how big it is. There is absolutely no weight on earth that one person could lift this thing. It must weigh nearly 100 kgs. Um, it's aluminium, so God knows where the weight is in it. I've got a feeling that it's from the 1970s. I haven't found anything on it to co collaborate there. It's just a feeling that I've got from the look of the styling on the other side. The air cleaner has got Dutch or German writing on it. It's been refitted. The muffler looks like it's off something else. But the style of the thing I couldn't resist. So this is going to be the subject of further videos. I don't know what I'm going to power with it. Maybe a wood splitter, maybe a big generator. So I'd like to find out a bit about this. If any of you people have seen one of these, if you know how old it is, what countries they were sold in, what machinery they were originally fitted to, I'd be really keen. But um, thanks for watching my little video. Please subscribe to uh, Tiny House Off-Grid Resources and uh, stay up to date for the next video.